بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من وله Brothers and sisters, this is Productive Muslim with the Friday Nasiha episode number 8 When Things Go Wrong I want to start off with a simple question What does the day of Ashura and the Hijrah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have in common? Of course the day of Ashura is the day when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala saved our Prophet Moses from Fir'aun and saved the people of Bani Israel. And the Hijrah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the migration Prophet Muhammad took from Mecca to Medina. So what does these two days have in common? I think we'll both agree that first of all they were both migrations. Both of them were migrations from one end to another. Migrations from a land where the people were persecuted to a promised land where the where the faith can be established. And both were a turning point for both Prophets. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his Hijrah was the turning point for Islam and Muslims. And Musa Alaihi Salam, his Hijrah was a turning point for his people. So now they're free from Fir'aun and his people. The last one is what is the topic of today. That both potentially could have been disastrous. And this is the topic of today about when things go wrong. Both of these events potentially could have been disastrous. Let's look at how they would have been. In the day of Ashura, when Musa السلام, took his people and ran away from Fir'aun, and they reached the sea, and they got to the sea, and the people of Bani Israel looked behind them, and they saw the army of Fir'aun, and in front of them, they saw the sea. So behind was death, and in front of them was drowning, and they were stuck. So this, at this moment, these event, this event could have been disastrous. This event could have been the end of Musa and his people. Similarly, I want us to look at the Hijrah of Prophet Muhammad When Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa hid in this cave, and you can see the green arrow pointing to the cave, and the mushrikeen from Mecca stood up, were standing where the red cross is. They were standing there. And Abu Bakr al-Siddiq said to Prophet Muhammad, O oh, Muhammad, if they look to their feet, then they can see us. If they just look down to their feet, then they will see us. And you can tell from this picture how true Abu Bakr Siddiq's words are. Literally, if they just looked down, they would have seen Muhammad and Abu Bakr Siddiq hiding in that cave. So this, these two events potentially could have been disastrous. But I want us to look at the response of the Prophet and in this moment where truly your faith is being tested and your trust in Allah is being tested. With the day of Ashura, Musa السلام, when his people said, O oh Musa, inna lamudrakun, O oh Musa, they, they got to us, they, they're going to get to us. Musa السلام, responds with full confidence, with full yaqeen, with full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qala kalla inna ma'ya rabbi He said, no, my Lord is with me, soon will he guide me. He had this trust even though he had didn't know the answer he didn't know how he would get out of this situation he was standing in front of the sea and he had no clue and the next verse says that O Musa strike the sea with your stick and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open a path for them similarly in the hijrah when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was asked Abu Bakr or oh, 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 Rasulullah if they look to their feet then they will see as Muhammad responded again with full confidence and full yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ معنا. He says to his companion, don't have no fear. Have no fear for Allah is with us. And we all know the miracle where the pigeon and the, and the uh, spider web was formed on the cave so that the mushrikeen had no doubt, no way could a person have gone inside this place, this cave. There's a, there's, a, there's a pigeon laying an egg there and there's a spider web closing on the opening of the cave. So this, these two miracles were miracles that occurred in really at the moment 
when potentially this event could have been disastrous. But the people, the Prophet and Musa responded to this test with such certainty that Allah granted them the miracles. And I want us to take that on board with us. When things go wrong, how do we respond? We normally panic. We normally start getting angry at the people who caused this uh, mistake. We normally start going, uh, getting annoyed. But never have we turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when things go wrong and said, have no fear, for Allah is with us. So I want to take practical lessons from the Hijrah and the day of Ashura. From the Hijrah, I want us to remember that we should take all necessary provisions. Just like Muhammad did before his journey, he took all the necessary provisions for his journey. And added to that, even though you've taken everything you could have planned for, rely only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not on those provisions. You rely fully on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You've done your best, you've worked hard, you've done your best to set up your own business, you've done your best to revise your exams, you've done your best to set up this event, you've done everything. Now rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember when things go wrong, do lots of dua and lots of istighfar and have that confidence, have that yaqeen, have that certainty that Allah is with me. My intention is sincere. This is why the importance of having sincere intentions. My intention is sincere. My purpose is sincere. I really, my purpose is clear and my purpose is good. Then Allah is with me. I should have no fear for Allah is with me. And when you get out of that situation, in whichever form, never forget to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't say, aha, I was clever enough to get out of this situation. No, it wasn't you. It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who helped you. So remember these lessons. Remember that when things go wrong, it's not a matter of who to blame. When things go wrong, it is asking, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala testing you to see do you really have that yaqeen to stand up firm and say, oh no, Allah will guide me then I will, and I will be able to go through this, inshaAllah. So this was today's Friday Nasih and I want to remind everyone that the day of Ashura, inshaAllah, will be the 10th of Muharram. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he came to Medina he saw the Jews fasting on the 10th of Muharram and he asked them why are you fasting this day and they said that this is the day that Allah saved Moses from Fir'aun so Muhammad said we have more right to Musa than you and therefore he started fasting that day and he recommended his companions to fast a day before it or a day after it so inshallah if all of us inshallah remind ourselves remind our families to fast tomorrow which is the 9th of Muharram and Sunday the 10th of Muharram or the to uh, uh, the Sunday 10th of Muharram with the Monday the 11th of Muharram so we can all gain the reward and in the hadith that this the reward of this fasting this day is that the sin of last year gets forgiven so it's a golden opportunity that I don't want you to forget finally I just want to remind you about a YouTube competition we've extended the deadline now to 15th of January 2010 remember to log on to the website and check out the details of this competition because I really want all of you to take part of it so we have an excellent competition inshallah ta'ala jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh